Hi, I'm Louise. I've always used microscopes but never known how to do it properly, so I'm interested in learning about how they work and what different bits there are to it. Uh, I'm Louise Woolno. Uh, I'm a retired head teacher, and in recent years I've devoted a lot of time to developing and teaching courses about microscopy to a whole range of different people but particularly members of the beekeeping fraternity. Hello, I'm Chris Thomas. I used to work for a research company and was responsible for the microscopes there. And now I run my own company. Well, Louise, here's a fairly standard microscope. We're going to look to find the different parts. Let's start off at the top. These are the eyepieces. Mm -hmm. And moving down through this tube-like structure, we come to objectives, the objective lenses. Here we have the stage on which the specimen will be placed. And you'll notice that here there are two little knobs that can be used to move the specimen around on the stage. Moving further down, we have here underneath the condenser, which is a lens system that we'll look at later. And at the base here, we have an opening through which the light will come okay. to illuminate our specimen. Oh, what about these knobs here? These knobs are very important because they are used to move the stage up and down in order to bring what's on the stage into focus right. when we're looking through the eyepieces. There are two knobs. The larger one is What's the objective? for a course adjustment <laughs> and, yes, and the lower one is for the fine adjustment. Okay. Shall we just... Yeah, can you, can you work your way through that, see whether you can identify them? Okay, so we've got the eyepieces at the top. Yeah. Well done. Um, then you go down to the objectives, mm -hmm. which I can see yes. three or four of them here. Mm -hmm. You've then got the stage. Well done. And you can move the, sta uh, the specimen sorry, um, with these knobs. And they go two different directions. Well done. You've then got the condenser underneath, and you've got where the light source comes from at the bottom, at the base. These knobs are for focusing, moving the stage up and down Yes. for the specimen. And there's perhaps one more thing I ought to mention. Mm -hmm. Here we have what's called an iris diaphragm. And by turning around this knurled arrangement, we can make the gap there larger or smaller. And there's a similar diaphragm in with the condenser, and that is simply adjusted by moving this knob around here. We'll go through those when we're talking about setting up the microscope, because they, they're quite important in terms of making right. the lighting um, optimum for the sample that you're, you're looking at and the magnification that you, you're looking at. But we've also got some other microscopes here. Uh, see if you can find the same components, because these microscopes have all got the same sort of structure. So. Try the Watson, that's my favourite. It's one year younger than I am. <laughs> okay, so you've only got this one eyepiece at the top. Right, that's well yeah, spotted. Well spotted. Yeah. We've got a binocular there. Okay, and then you've got the objectives again mm -hmm. uh, at the stage. Mm -hmm. um, you've got something to hold the specimen in place with. Yeah, those so are just two clips rather yeah. than the mechanical stage. It looks like you can't do that. You've got the condenser underneath mm -hmm. and there's no light source, or no, no light, but a mirror looks like. That's right, that's used for an external, use an external light then to actually illuminate the sample. That's how okay. a lot of people used to use them in the past. And are these the two, well, one of these has got to be the focus knobs? They're both the focus. The okay. large one is the coarse focus. So this one? Yeah, you can see it moves quite a yeah. distance up and down. And then the other one is the fine, the fine focus. Right, okay. And if you move over here, we've got uh, an old research microscope. Um, but again, it's got the key components that you need within a microscope with a few bells and whistles added on. But see if you can identify the, the important 
primary components again. So eyepieces, yeah. uh, objectives, yeah. stage, mm -hmm. uh, this looks like a mechanical Yes, that's what it is, that is a mechanical stage. Mm -hmm. uh, the condenser underneath, yeah. uh, the light source, and then the focus knobs I'm assuming. That's right, so we've got a large one for the coarse focus, fine, uh, the, the central one is the fine, uh, fine focus. And you can see we've got quite a substantial lamp assembly on the back, which allows you to add a whole variety of different filters uh, for microscopy. And it even allows the attachment of another lamp if you wanted to. But yes, so those are the component parts of a microscope. So. One thing we did miss mm -hmm. was the diaphragms here oh, right. and the diaphragms there. Okay, so point out where the, where's the diaphragm on that particular uh, microscope. Diaphragm. <laughs> yes, remember, the that, diaphragm. Was, that was this <laughs> this opening and closing yeah. arrangement. Yeah, I'm assuming there's got to be one in the condenser. That's right. Because there's that's it. The light yeah. the source itself. That is it. Mm -hmm. no. oh, okay, that's yeah, it there. That is it. Mm -hmm. Right. But the other one's missing. Yeah. That would be on the external lamp. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's on an external lamp. Mm -hmm. And on here. Uh, again, on the condenser somewhere. Mm -hmm. the We've got a lever, which is the condenser diaphragm here. Okay. But on this one, the uh, lamp diaphragm, or the, the field aperture, is actually... It's also, also on the condenser. It's also on the condenser. Right. So it's worth looking at your microscope manual whenever you're using a microscope to see where the individual components are. But basically, we have... The key components of the microscope there. Okay. Right, take 257. If you want to learn more about microscopy, all you need to do is ask these two and they'll tell you everything. Uh, we're not just the founts of all knowledge, we rely on other people as well. And we're a member of several societies and clubs. So, for example, there's the Cricket Microscopical Club. Yes, there's the Postal Microscopy Society and the Royal Microscopical Society. And if you look online, you'll also find various sites such as Mixscape, which are great for people who are interested in microscopy. And, of course, look on YouTube and find our videos. Thank you. Bye.